Anne Bradstreet is our first American poet. She is a woman. She is also a very early writer. She is actually English by birth, but moved to this country at a very young age. There are several things to remember when you read Anne Bradstreet's writing. Number one is that she is a woman writing in an age when poets were supposed to be men. And you'll see this reflected in her writing as she almost apologizes for what she writes at times. And some people read her poetry and think that she is being sarcastic when she apologizes and talks about how men are better at doing this sort of thing. But she's probably really not doing that at all. Uh, when I read Anne Bradstreet, I think that she is absolutely sincere in what she writes and doesn't, has no intention of being sarcastic. And when we see that, it's probably just our modern view of things, uh, reading someone who was writing some 300 years or so ago. So read her as she writes it. Uh, she's sincere in what she's writing here. But she's writing this because she knows she's going to come under some very open criticism from men because women just were not supposed to be writing poetry at this time. What we remember Anne Bradstreet best for would be her poetry concerning her family, her home life, settlement, those types of things, the more personal poems. She has some others that are less often read, and she may have considered those other poems her best poems at the time as they were more fashionable, but today we look at her more personal work, those that describe the death of a granddaughter, the problems of home life or house burning down, those sorts of things. And those are the poems that really reveal the character of Anne Bradstreet. When you read through her poems, notice these things and notice the Puritan influence, the religious beliefs that come through in the poetry. When her house burns down, for example, she doesn't feel particularly bad about it in the way that we might feel about it today, angry or something of that sort. She accepts it and says that this is the will of God. This is what God has lent to her. And in fact, she suggests in a way that God may actually be teaching her a lesson. That perhaps that she was getting too attached to these material things and forgetting that her heart was supposed to be set above and so God had to take these things from her then. So when you read through the poetry and the other writings of these Puritans, keep that overriding influence in mind. That everything they write, everything they think is influenced by this pervasive religious thought that God is in control of everything and the world below, the material things are very much secondary to those higher thoughts.